writing an equation from a table, Lesson 5.2b. We learned to write an equation in slope-intercept form from a graph in the previous video, 5.2a. We can also use the information from a given table to write the equation that represents the situation without drawing the graph. To write an equation in slope-intercept form from a table, these are the steps. We use two ordered pairs from the table with the slope formula to find the slope m. We find the y-intercept as the y-value when x is equal to 0 in the table or use the slope and any point in the table. We substitute the slope and y-intercept into the equation. So we're going to use our bakery gift card problem again to see how to do this. A cash register subtracts $2 from a $10 bakery gift card for every muffin the customer buys. The table shows the amount y left on the gift card after purchasing X muffins. So we find the slope first by choosing two ordered pairs, and we can choose these two. We can choose any of them, and we have a 6 minus 8 over a 2 minus 1. That's going to give us a negative 2 for M, our slope. Now we need to find the y-intercept. We can use the slope and any point. We have a slope of negative 2. We can use any point. So let's use this point right here. We're going to use 2 for x and 6 for y. We just put it into the equation. We multiply negative 2 times 2, and we get a negative 4. Now we have 6 is equal to negative 4 plus b, and this b is the y-intercept that we're trying to find. So we add 4 to both sides of the equation. We add 4 to the 6 and 4 to the negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4, that makes a 0 pair. We have 0 here. We have nothing. But now on this side, we have 10 is equal to b. We know the y-intercept b is 10. We know the slope is negative 2. We can write our equation y is equal to negative 2x plus 10. We can find the y-intercept by working backwards for the x and y values. The y-intercept is the y value when x is equal to 0. We look for the pattern of change. This is going 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, so we know we're subtracting 1 each time. For this one, it's going 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, which means if we go backwards, we're adding 2, then adding 2, then adding 2, then adding 2, which tells us if we add 2 to 8, we're going to have a 10, and if we subtract 1 from 1, we're going to have a 0. Now x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 10, we know that the y-intercept is 10. If we subtract 1 from the lowest x value and add 2 to the y value, we get the ordered pair 0, 10. We can find it for this table of values. We look at the x values and see, working backwards, we have a minus 4, minus 4, minus 4. So if we have 4 and we take away 4, we're going to have a 0 for x and we look at the pattern of change for the y values, and it's going minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, and if we do minus 5 again, we have 10 minus 5, that's a 5. That tells us the y-intercept is 5. Since the x values have a pattern of changing by 4, we can subtract 4 minus 4 to equal 0. And since the y values have a pattern of changing by 5, we can subtract 10 minus 5 to get 5. We get the ordered pair 0, 5, which means the y-intercept b is 5. When a table is showing the y value when x is 0, we'll easily see the y-intercept b value. We know it's 12. x is 0, y is 12, the y-intercept is 12. To write the equation, we use two ordered pairs to find the slope, and I decided to use these two. So we have 28 minus 24 and 4 minus 3. We get 4 over 1. Our slope is 4. We substitute the slope and the y-intercept b into the equation, and we have y is equal to 4x, 4x plus 12. Here we have another one. 
The table shows the prices a printing company charges for quantities of business cards. There's an initial typesetting fee for each order. We're going to let Q equal quantity and P equal price. If we follow the pattern back for X and Y, we get the ordered pair 0, 10. We look here and we see they're going back by 100, which means if we do 100 minus 100, we're going to get 0 for X, or our Q, and we notice that 78 minus 61 is 17, it's a difference of 17, and if we subtract 17 going all the way back each time, we're going to get a 10 here. 27 minus 17 is 10. We know B, the y-intercept, is 10. Now we just find the slope by using two of these points, and I decided to use these two, so we have 78 minus 61, which is 17, and 400 minus 300, which is 100. We have 17 hundredths. This is the price per card, so we can write it as a dollar sign 0 0.17 for 17 cents per card. Our equation is y, that's the total, is equal to 17 cents x plus 10. That's our typesetting fee, and that's the number of cards that we're going to order. Our equation was y is equal to 17 hundredths x plus 10. We can use this equation to find the price of any quantity of business cards by substituting that quantity for x. So we have quantities in the hundreds here. What if we wanted 250 business cards? That would be between this one and this one. We could just substitute 250 for x, do our multiplication. We get $32.50. We add the $10 typesetting fee. And the price for 250 business cards would be $42.50. We could put in any quantity substituted into the equation to find the price. We're finished with Lesson 5.2 and moving on to 5.3. And we're going to be finding the equation of a linear relationship. So just remember, when you're doing the table of values, you can find the pattern of change and work back to find where x is equal to 0 to find that y-intercept b as the y-value when x is 0. I hope the rest of your day is productive, and I hope you join me for Lesson 5.3. Bye!